Well, starting off CNC break number 13,490, four boxer of artifacts. I will be posting a couple more four boxers tomorrow uh, for Smash to Doom. What does Upper Deck do with all the unclaimed redemptions? Honestly, well, they give them out, obviously. <laughs> There's no way that they got 249, well, unless they gave all 249 uh, Pasternax out, but I have no idea. Brett Howden for the Rangers. But the reason why, honestly, Glenn, that one I think bugged me the most is because they literally did like a post about how they just got the Pasternax back in. And then the guy opens one literally like a week later. Two ninety nine for the Islanders on a card that you just advertised that you got in. Why don't you just make that customer ha ha <clears throat> happy and give it to him? And you can guys clearly hear my throat's dying now. Nine ninety nine, or sorry, three ninety nine. Nick Robertson for the Leafs. That's how emotional I'm getting. We're getting teared up. We've got a two ninety nine for the Hawks of Patrick Kane. We've got number to thirty for the Buffalo Sabers, Sam Reinhart. We've got a dual jersey for the Oilers at 125. Or 145, Leon Dreyson. That's the other thing, Golden, that annoys me. It's like, I don't just BS these guys. Like, I, I will help the big guys out when I can. You know, the guys who are loyal, buying a lot of different products, blah, blah, blah. Rookie Redemption, Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay Lightning. And for them to basically just tell me straight up, like, ah, oh, sorry, no, I'll stuff it. It's like, I don't know, that rubs me so bad. Braden Holpe remnants for the Caps. Yep. As I said, I do understand that you have to have a cutoff. I really do. But I, I don't... I don't know. To me, it's funny because... I also, like... I also go to Vegas. You know, obviously not recently. But I also go to Vegas quite a bit. And it's funny because when they have high-end clientele... And I know that their high-end clientele is obviously a lot higher clientele than this but when they have high in clientele they bend over backwards to keep you gambling in their casino and give you everything they possibly can auto facts of larson for the buffalo sabers and literally the one customer that i had to give the tarasenko to like i bet you in the hobby doesn't always buy from us but in the hobby bowen byram for the avalanche he probably spends fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a year. Like this is not a guy that's just a ah, oh, I'm gonna do nothing. Two ninety nine Vancouver Canucks Markstrom. Like this guy spends a lot of money. It's like you want to pee off those guys. Two ninety nine patch already for the Golden Knights, which also in turn affects a lot of stores, right? Because if those guys quit the hobby, then the stores are losing out on those guys. We've got a 175 Headman. You know what, Meta? I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of thinking competition would change or not change them. I think it helps certain things. Year one uh, rookie sweaters of Makar. Because at the end of the day, Upper Deck has to sell their product to make money. So whether they have competition or not, they still gotta put out a good product. 45 Dallas Stars, Ben Bishop. Like, in all honesty, guys, if you think that they made money on, like, the first year Synergy and stuff like that, they probably not. They probably closed it out crazy cheap. Retro rookie number nine. So, I, I think they're very motivated to make good products all the time because they want to produce a great product and it sell out quickly and have none left in stock. I feel like as a business, that would be ideal for them. And the only other reason why Meadow I don't think it changes, I don't think there was much change when they did have Panini in game. Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. And I'm saying this in the, in the nicest way possible. Their customer service was the worst thing about them when Panini was around. And it's still the worst thing around them when Panini is not around. San Jose, Logan Couture, $2.99. And in my opinion, I think their product has been better since Panini left. $4.99 for the Coyotes, Taylor Hall. Nice. For the Red Wings. Three of ten. 
Henrik Zetterberg. Henrik Zetterberg. Three of oh, ten. That's sick. Yeah, that's true, Meta. That is true. Threads of Time of Ryan Miller for the St. Louis Blues. But I can promise you, I've been on this for many years and hasn't got me much. Rookie Redemption for the Montreal Canadiens. $2.99 for the Sharks of Joe Thornton. Uh, Mitch, in all honesty, it depends if, the, uh, if I get the shot or not. Number to 45 for the Vegas Golden Knights patch ready. If I, if I can get the vaccine beforehand, probably. If not, then I'm not risking it. And I'm not trying to say this in any rude way, but especially going to the U.S. No, thank you. <laughs> and I do not mean that in any negative way. I'm just saying the U.S. people are a little different for the most part right now than Canada is in terms of how they uh, respond to the masks and stuff. We got a four ninety nine for the Carolina Hurricanes. Aho. But if I get the vaccine and everything is good, then why not? Year one rookie sweaters. Quinn Hughes. Two base cards. So not only did I get nothing, I only got two base cards, not three. You getting back in three weeks? Wow. Peyton Kreps for the Vegas Golden Knights. Makar, number two, four, nine, nine. How do you know about that, Mitch? I'm just kind of curious how that works down there. We've got a dual jersey, number to 145 of Kopitar, LA Kings. Like, do they just assign everyone certain times, or is there a reason why? 75 for the Red Wings, Dylan Larkin. Eight feet. Have a good night, sir. And a rookie redemption. Flow right up, Panthers. So this one, we only have the one redemption, I believe, to do. I'm just going to double check very quickly to make sure. Uh... It was only the one. I just don't want to make sure I was gabbing away. That's why. Okay, fair enough. All right, so I'm going to do the random. Oh, I'm just going to do the team list. Give me one second. Come on, open up. All right, good luck for everyone on the number nine redemption. Here we go for the redemption number nine. There's only one of them. One, two, three. Eric gets it. Congrats. Congrats. 